Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I'm your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we'll be reacting to My Hero Academia Season 5, Episode 17. And in the last episode, we've kind of shifted our sights away from the main cast that we're all training underneath Endeavor, and instead, we got to see what our girls Ochiko and Tsuyu were up to. And apparently those two are interning together underneath Ryuko, who is the number 10 hero so they also have a fire mentor that is training them right now but starting off it was just a normal day in Ryuko's headquarters Ochiko got herself an entirely new suit made and I believe I don't know I think they kind of hinted at the fact that the new design that she has was inspired by Deku's which I think is really cool but it was a normal day until Ryuko received a distress call from none other than Selkie himself and so we all race over there to see what's up and apparently there are these criminals that have recreated or not recreated it they made a brand new drug that has the same effects as um, overhaul's drug that he tried to make I guess it's like a quirk enhancer and this one we don't know what exactly is being used to make it but hopefully it's not like little girl DNA like what overhaul was using but regardless, we have to shut these guys down, so we do exactly that. Suyu and Selkie end up sneaking onto the boat and taking out everyone on there. However, there is one person that does slip away, and I guess they had a plane, an entire plane, hidden on the boat. And so they take that off into the air, and now it is Ochiko's job to chase after them. And so she infiltrates the plane, knocks out the pilot, and then she now has to try to stop this entire entire plane by herself without knowing how to steer a plane and so everyone's telling her you got to use your float in order to stop the plane and initially Ochiko was worried because she had never floated a plane or anything of this size before so she was really worried but she ended up of course going beyond plus ultra and she stopped the entire plane and then Ryuko got a hold of it they brought it back to safety and it was a job well done so I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what the other students are probably up to right now or we might end up shifting our sights back to the Liberation Army. I have no idea but there is only one way to find out. If you guys are excited for this episode make sure to leave a like, it will help me and the video out so much more than you might think so if you could take the time to do that real quick I would very much appreciate it and also consider subscribing to the channel for more weekly My Hero Academia reactions and with that all out of the way let's get right into this episode. Alright, so I have episode 17 pulled up right now, and whenever you guys are ready, we'll be starting this episode in... 3, 2, 1, go. Alright. Let's see what's up. We're getting another quick recap. Man, I still, ah, oh man, I still can't get over Endeavor and, um, what was it, episode 15? Right there, that scene, man. That man stopped a whole truck by himself without damaging the person inside. That's crazy. All right, they have their job. Their mission. Let's see if we can do it. Becoming the greatest hero. Man, this is no easy task for them, man. This is the number one hero that they have to beat to, I guess, the crime scene or the, the rescue scene, whatever it is. They have to beat Endeavor to that area. And these guys, they're still kind of like, I guess, newbie heroes. They just got their licenses. So being able to do that would be incredible. You'd think impossible. But Endeavor, he's number one hero for a reason. And um, I guess we'll have to see whether or not he can become a number one teacher as well. If they can train, or if he can train them to be able to accomplish something like that, 
like getting to a scene before he can, then that's insane. And um, I think that would definitely... Hmm, I don't know. That'd put him within the argument of uh, best teacher because Eraserhead's right there. My boy Aizawa is right there. So, we'll have to see. Normally, you wouldn't think that Endeavor was that kind of person. You think, like, he's the kind of person that's great when it comes to being a hero and, like, dealing damage, but terrible at everything else. So, like, for example, his family situation, he's not the best father. And you'd think that he wouldn't be that good of a teacher either, but he seems to know what he's talking about. And he seems to know what it takes. Oh, wait! I forgot! The end credit scene of last episode. Is this going to be the episode that I think it is? I, I think it is. Hold up. We'll have to see. Ah, we got a suitcase swiper. And here we go. Does this one count? Is Endeavor on his way? Muscle memory. Yep, yep. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Dude, as soon as you saw that explosion in the background, I was just like, is that who I think it is? Man. To think he covered that much distance in such a short time. Oh man, we better go. Look, you're already late. Dang. They look exhausted. And Endeavor's perfectly fine. Man, he's so cool. Mm-hmm. Two completely different environments. In one of them, you're in very real danger. In the other one, you're in, like, simulated danger. Whoa! What's up with her hands? Dude, what is her quirk? What is her quirk? Did they explain it in the episode where they revealed her? Because she's got like flaming hands, sharp claws. Hundred thousand. I can't even count that high. Oh, snap. She's got to head back to school. Man, I can't wait. I cannot wait. The hellish Todoroki family. We're getting into it, dog. This is the episode. Dang, that's sad. <sighs> that's rough. Was that their grandmother there? By the kids? Or was that maybe like a maid or something? She's 
Jeez. It didn't look like he smacked her, though. It looked like she was grabbing his arm and he, like, flung her off. I don't know why they made that smack sound effect. Oh, and this is the moment. Jeez. She said that red side of Todoroki's face was unsightly, dude. That's brutal. Fuyumi's hair is so cool too. I like the little I like the white hair with the red tips. I think it looks awesome. Or I guess it's like red patches. Yeah, this is messed up. I 100% understand how he feels. Ooh. Tell ya. Dang, man, this episode is... it's emotional. Hmm, I wonder what their mom's backstory was. Like, was she just a, a normal person with a normal job? And she didn't really use her quirk like that? Or was she a hero as well, and maybe she retired? Oh, my... He looks so different. Yeah, he looks so much different with his eyes not blacked out. He actually looks normal. <laughs> oh, jeez. We all remember this. Oh, was that during his um, exam for his provisional license when he had to take care of all the kids with the Bakugo and everyone? That was a great episode. That was so sick. All right. Oh, I get it. Wait, I get it. Didn't, um, didn't the title have like hellish flame in it or something? Or like the hellish Todoroki family or something. And now we see Endeavor's quirk is actually called Hellflame. She's up bright and early. Are her fingers burned? Dang, he just ignored her! 
Oh my god, at least say something! Oh man, they're beat up. They've been training day in and day out. It's time. Oh, snap. What are the odds? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Just when Endeavor comes by. Oh my god, how much crime and, like, just insanity happens every day in this city. I'm guessing this is definitely a full-time job for them. And look, they're all scouting for the next... Oh, they're getting quicker. They're getting quicker. Okay, so basically what he's trying to teach them is to, like, just shoot forward towards the danger without even thinking about it. It just has to be instinctual. It has to be muscle memory. As soon as, like, information exists... That something bad is going on out there, their body already has to be moving. <laughs> what? Where the heck are we? <laughs> hmm. And here we are. Look. Fuyumi's awesome, man. The fact that she is, she's kind of single-handedly trying to pull this family back together. She's the glue that holds them together. Without her, everybody would probably be doing their own thing. Except, of course, Todoroki and Endeavor. Shinra, is that you? <laughs> Let's see, is the brother here? Oh! He actually came back after storming off that first time. <laughs> Just chill out, Deku, man. We're all sitting down, eating together, having a good time. Or at least that's the idea. Maybe not everyone's having a good time. And look, she probably prepared all of this herself. Man. Fuyumi's easily the MVP of this episode. <laughs> Man. Housekeeper, that's what she was. She wasn't their grandmother. 
But I guess it makes sense. I think we would have heard of her, or at least heard her name or something, if she was. Man. <laughs> Deku's face is how we all feel right now. He's storming off again. Oh, man. Oh, man. Like, she tries so hard, dude. And it seems like he also wants to move past it. But it seems like he can't. It's just like too much damage was done to the point where like every time he sees Endeavor, he's just reminded. Oh, lore, hidden lore. Man. I don't even remember that. Have we ever seen that? Seen her, like, apologize like crazy for that? I always thought she, like, did it out of anger, but... Um... I didn't think she, like, immediately regretted it. And she just, like, couldn't control herself when that happened. It's so sad, though. It is. Because of this messed up family situation, she got put into a mental institute. Bakugo does not care, man. Deku. Oh, wow. And the brothers listening in. And the dad. Dang. Looks like Deku picked the perfect time. Oh, Toya. There he is, man. Poor kid. Jeez, man. Jeez. This episode was... This episode was deep, man.
I thought, oh man, I was so sure that this was going to be the episode, but I think it's going to happen next episode. Oh man, dude. But this episode was still really cool. We got to find out a lot about the Todoroki family, which was the whole point of the episode. And we got to see uh, Fuyumi's thoughts on their family situation. We kind of got to see Todoroki's. Um, we got to see the brothers, we got to see Endeavors, and we also got to see the moms. She seems to be very eager to be reunited with her family again, but for now, she has to stay in that institute. And um, I think it's awesome that she's been writing letters to Todoroki. And also, if we go back to that scene where she like threw the boiling hot water at him, like I think it was really cool to see like how apologetic she was afterwards because i always thought it was more like ah oh, your face every time i see it it disgusts me and then she like throws the water at him and then you know eventually down the line she came to realize like oh i went too far i shouldn't have done that but i didn't know it was instant i didn't know that immediately she was like holy crap i'm sorry i'm sorry Oh, man. Endeavor's debut fight is number one. Uh, what are they going to show in the preview? What are we going to get here? Is it going to be juicy? I hope they don't spoil. Okay. Oh, man. Let's go. Everyone's prepped and ready to go. Dang, man. Well, I guess, okay, okay. Unfortunately, they kind of spoiled. Not really. I guess it's not, like, it's not anything huge. I just thought it was a really, like, cool and interesting scene. But, um, I guess they already showed what's going to happen. But there is still more. There is still more to what goes on there. So definitely keep your eye out for the next episode because that whole exchange there is super cool. It is really cool and I cannot wait. But um, I think, okay, my question of the day for you guys is going to be, what are your thoughts on Endeavor? Do you think that what he did was irredeemable? Like, he, he drove his wife into a mental institute. He treated all of his children, except for Todoroki, like rejects. And then he treated Todoroki like a lab rat that he wanted to try to fine-tune so that he could finally reach his goal of beating All Might and becoming the number one hero. Well, I guess... Eh, I, I don't even remember what his goal was specifically. Was it to be stronger than All Might, or was it just to be number one? I don't remember exactly, but let me know what are your thoughts on Endeavor. Me personally, I think that what Endeavor did was definitely screwed up, but he 100% seems, um, he seems like he regrets what he's done. And as we can see from him coming to these dinners that Fuyumi has prepared, these are like steps that he's taking towards trying to make amends and bring his family back together. Because right now everyone's kind of scattered. Toya passed away. Fuyumi, she's, well, she's normally in school, but right now she has time off because she's, um, because it's winter, I believe, right? Or like it's the holiday season or something. Um, the brother is like doing his own thing. He doesn't really want to be a part of these dinners. He's only coming for Fuyumi's sake and the mother's in the Institute. So everyone's all over the place and it's going to take something big to reunite them. Something bigger than just a dinner to reunite them. But I really, I would love to see what would be the mother's first words after being released and bumping into Endeavor. I wonder what her first words would be to him, and I wonder what his first words would be to her. Because they've been separated for so long, they haven't had time to 
talk about what happened, talk about how they felt during that situation. And I wonder if she is released, are they gonna like separate? Are they gonna like, you know, still be there for their kids but separate from each other? Or are they gonna bring the whole family back together and she's gonna find it within herself to forgive him? I don't know, man. I guess we're just gonna have to watch more and find out. I don't even think it was revealed in the manga yet, so we got a ways to go, buddy. But anyways, I love this episode. It was very, a very, very enjoyable watch. If you guys enjoyed as well, make sure to leave a like. It'll help me and the video out so much more than you might think. Comment your thoughts on the episode down below and subscribe for more Slay Shonen content. And with that, I'm going to head out. So I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one.